Whether in the sandy pass of Casserine, fighting their way through the muddy Italian countryside, or airdropping into Normandy, the forces that the U.S. bring to bear do not change much throughout the war. Sherman's, M-10s, armored infantry, rifle companies, and airborne are all available in both eras, and while some of the supporting units may vary, the core of each formation remains mostly the same. So what's the best place to start for collecting them? Battlefront has made a great selection of starter armies that are often the best place to start. As of February 2022, we have the following. For late war, you have the U.S. Combat Command and the Bulge American Spearhead Company. And for mid-war, we currently have the M3 Lee Tank Company. Let's take a closer look at what you get in each, and a quick overview of the savings you will get if you buy them versus buying the individual boxes needed to get the same number of models. Starting with the M3 Lee Tank Company, it comes with a rough savings of $97 US. The box set comes with 5 M3 Lee Tanks, 3 M4 Shermans, 4 M3 Stuart Light Tanks, 4 M10 Tank Destroyers, 3 M7 Priest self-propelled guns, and 2 T28E1 self-propelled anti-aircraft platforms, as well as the usual accoutrements of a rulebook, start here guide, decals, and unit cards. This box gives you a solid start to the mid-war M3 Lee Tank Company, surprising I know, especially if coupled with the Kasserine starter set we talked about last time. The Lee is a solid medium tank for the period, and if supported by the Shermans, can be a tough force to fight. Stewarts are an excellent light flanking unit, and the M10s have a good anti-tank capability for the points cost. The priests you get in the set are a solid all-around artillery piece with good mobility and the ability to drop a smoke bombardment, while the T28s offer a decent anti-air platform that is also effective at engaging light ground tar targets. With this box and a copy of Kasserine, you will also be close to having enough Shermans and Stewarts to build out their own distinct formations only needing a box of each tank set to get the minimum units for that. From there, you have lots of options of what to get next. Our advice, though, is always to start collecting infantry first, and at least a single recon unit. In this case, the U.S. Armored Rifle Platoon is the perfect complement to these tank-heavy formations, featuring up to five half-tracks and a company's worth of weapon systems in a single platoon, while the Armored Recon Patrol features two N3 armored cars with 50 cal MGs and two Jeeps, one with a 30 cal and one with a 60 mm light mortar to add even more harassing fire to your force. Relying on your fast and aggressive tanks to push as fast as you can to get to the enemy's flanks while pinning them down with a high volume of fire will give you a great edge in any mid-war battle. Worth mentioning that Battlefront have of course made older mid-war starter forces that you may still be able to find at other retail locations, often not having quite the same value to them, but these can nevertheless be a good start as well. The late war era features two different starter sets, one for T-Day Americans and one for Bulge Americans. This is where things can start getting a bit more complicated for collecting Americans, as the Bulge set contains some content that can only be used with its book, while much of the D-Day set can be used in both books. Model-wise as well, the models of the Shermans from Bulge Americans are of a later variant, so if rivet counting is a hobby of yours, this video may not be for you. The U.S. Combat Command comes with a rough savings of 118 U.S. dollars. Featuring five M4 Sherman tanks, three M5 Stewarts, a full-strength armored rifle platoon, four M10 tank destroyers, three priests, decals, unit cards, and a rulebook. This box is meant to form a solid core for an M4 Sherman company from the D-Day American book, with two Shermans meant to be used as a headquarters unit, and three more to make a minimum strength Sherman 75mm or 76mm platoon. The Stewarts form the second compulsory unit in the formation. The rest of the box provides excellent support for the formation. The Armored Rifle Platoon provides reliable and tough hitting infantry to keep up with the tank assault or form an excellent defensive position while the tanks counterattack. The M10s can support the flanks with moderate anti tank capability for the period, and the Priests are your ever important artillery able to suppress and destroy dug-in infantry or screen your advance with a smoke bombardment. Add in the eight Shermans from the Hit the Beach set and you have much more variety and resilience with your formation, bulking out the existing first platoon and letting you pick up a second platoon of Shermans to max out your tank options. 
From there, you might want to consider either the mortar half tracks or the Sherman assault guns as further support. However, I would suggest instead you consider building out to a full armored rifle company, as infantry can make or break any assault. And the US armored rifle platoons are some of the best in the game. Aside from that, picking up a recon platoon of Greyhounds and Jeeps would be another excellent option. Like the mid-war M3 scout cars, the M8s are fast and nimble, but pack a 37mm cannon that can let them go toe-to-toe -to -toe against light armored vehicles much more effectively while still providing the benefit of a spearhead. An alternative option to build out your forces would be to pick up some of the regular rifle platoons. These don't necessarily have the higher concentration of weapons like their armored friends, but they have the strength to stand and fight against whatever the axes can throw at them. They also get you access to some fun options like 57mm anti-tank guns, man-packed mortars and machine guns, and if you build them as beach landing troops, the dreaded flamethrowers. Lastly, we have the American Spearhead Force for Bulge with a rough savings of $133 US. This is the box to buy if you want to lead Patton's Charge to support the brave airborne around the stone. In this set, you get some of the best that America's factories can produce. A single Sherman Jumbo, four M4 Easy 8s, two M26 Pershings, four M24 Shafis, three Sherman Calliopes, one para platoon, and the usual rule books, unit cards, etc. Like the US Combat Command, the models in this set are based around the Volge Books Sherman Company. Of course, you will have some different options, such as the hard-hitting Pershing, the beefy Jumbo, and a lot more access to 76mm anti-tank guns. The Shafis in this set fill the role of the Stuart in D-Day's iteration of the Sherman Company, this time though packing the same main gun as the Sherman itself finally allowing them to go up against heavier German armor with a survivable chance. And the Sherman Calliope provide an indiscriminate bombardment to pin down a large swath of enemy infantry, but they can be a bit harder to maneuver around. Alongside the Shermans from the Hit the Beach set, you can create a fast and hard-hitting tank force, capable of overrunning most German positions. Alongside that, you will be close to filling out a minimum strength US paratrooper company with two full platoons, only needing to figure out the creation of command teams for the headquarters, giving you one of, if not the best infantry companies in the game in terms of skill and motivation. This will be an incredibly difficult force to shift from any dug in position. Best next buys from here would be either some M7 priests for the access to its smoke bombardment, more paratroopers to fill out a para company, including the machine guns, mortars, and anti tank guns and more recce units to provide you fast-moving forces that can spearhead for you. With all the American sets, you may notice that they feature heavily on the Sherman and its variants. Even if you collect a predominantly mid-war focused force, a large portion of it would still be usable in later theaters, if you don't mind the models not being the exact variants in use. We hope you find this collecting guide to be of some use. Feel free to drop your comments below. To keep up to date with us, please subscribe, share us around so that any of your friends looking for help getting in the game can see us. And as always, keep your sticks on the ice. Take care.